Manhattan District Attorney seized three pieces of art believed to have been stolen during the Holocaust, and one of those is right here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, Chris Hoffman has reaction from the local Jewish community and the museum. We spoke with the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh, and they say this action is to try to correct some historic wrongs, and the museum says they do want to work with law enforcement on their investigation. This piece right here, Portrait of a Man, is one of three artworks from three institutions the Manhattan DA seized. They were all owned by Jewish performer and songwriter Fritz Grunbaum during the Holocaust. He died at the Dachau concentration camp. Jewish families had property, business, art stolen. Um, and so after the Holocaust, those went, they scattered. The drawing is more than 100 years old, and the warrant issued by the DA says there's probable cause this piece was stolen before it was acquired by the museum. The prosecutors feel they have jurisdiction on this case because the artwork was sold or bought in Manhattan at some point. Laura Turner with the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh says this is a step to addressing the tragedy of the Holocaust. You can never get back the person who was killed, but it's some kind of reparation. It's some kind of piece of justice to be able to make sure that that property goes back to the family that it rightfully belongs to. The Carnegie Museum of Art says in a statement, quote, Carnegie Museums of Pittsburgh is deeply committed to our mission of preserving the resources of art and science by acting in accordance with ethical, legal, and professional requirements and norms. We will, of course, cooperate fully with inquiries from the relevant authorities. I'm pleased to see with how they're handling it. They're taking it very seriously and want to make sure that um, the acquisition of this art was legal. According to Turner, the Federation hasn't been in communication with the museum yet, but is willing to help them during the situation. The artwork is still in Oakland. It will stay there until it can be moved to New York at a later date. We did ask the museum if it's still on display or somewhere in their archives, and that's something they didn't want to comment on today. Outside the Carnegie Museum of Art, Chris Hoffman, KDKA-TV News.